How are you going? When I first started this channel, I had exactly 39 video ideas in mind, but I've used them all up. I'm done. I am completely out of ideas and my head just isn't working properly and I have no idea why. So I have decided to rely on you and I have to say, I'm a little bit impressed. Individually, your ideas may be crap, but if I squish them together, I get a beautiful, greasy, multi-layered turducken of a video that should reach 10 minutes long, long enough to give me that juicy YouTube ad revenue. Also, some of you may be thinking, oh, I doubt you're just copying Michael Reeves where he tests out stupid viewer ideas. But look, this is the size of Michael Reeves, and this is the size of me. Fight me, Michael. Fight. All right, let's see what you got. So the first one comes from the Discord server. Make Crocs for Crocs. And I would like to, but I think the reptiles already have that sorted. And then this one from James Co Productions. Do a crayfish video about crayfish. Yes, yeah, sorry James, I'm not sure what kind of channel you think this is. I'm not just making a video about crayfish. There are 143 species of freshwater crayfish in Australia. From the teeny tiny Central Highlands crayfish all the way to the giant Tasmanian crayfish, the largest freshwater crustacean in the world, which can live to the ripe old age of 60. And you know, this actually happens to be my second favorite crustacean of all time, coming in right after the peacock mantis shrimp at number one, and uh, just before frozen crab stick at number three. Ah, oh, frozen crab stick. I'm not sure what you're made of, but I don't know I really care. And as Australian creeks used to be filled with crayfish everywhere you know you could kind of just walk along and 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 stick down your hand and and grab one but then we started putting poo pipes in our creek and they all disappeared now the only thing you grab when you reach down is crab stick and that was a very enjoyable first idea i'm gonna give it mm, nine nine out of ten i i enjoyed that so let's go to the next one and that comes from control copy and they say make a human with a human and is, isn't that just sex? You, you want me to make a sex tape? Like, look, I'm not gonna do that because there's already plenty of other websites on the internet that have this area covered and are really good at it. So I'll point you in the direction of some of those. Uh, description down below. And then this one from Italy Mark III. Make a bulletproof apron. And I like this idea and I was excited. I started to think of all the materials I could make like an, an apron out of, but then I remembered I don't live in America, so I'm not gonna make this one. And then this one comes from Sanasi, Everest Studios and Gresta. And they want me to make spring shoes. And I love this idea so much. I've wanted to make spring shoes ever since I saw the movie Flubber as a child. Arguably one of the greatest sports movies of all time. So my plan is to get these springs here, which came out of a giant ballpoint pen and then strap them to my feet. And then I jump up and down and break the Guinness World Record for highest vertical jump by a man that is wearing spring shoes while also having 350,000 Samoans subscribe to it. And I thought, actually, why not make this official? So I decided to fill out an application for a new Guinness World Record. Estimation of jump height, I reckon at least two meters. Description. I'll be attempting to set the record for highest vertical jump while wearing spring shoes and also having 350,000 inhabitants from the island of Samoa subscribe to them, which is a very impressive feat as Samoa only has a population of 220,000 people and good cause awareness. So I submitted it and the slimy people at Guinness took my five pounds and never got back to me. Also, I found out that a similar record is already held by a German bloke who jumped a massive 2.76 meters on spring stilts. So I might have to go for an easier spring related record like most hot springs visited in one year. That sounds like a perfect record for me. Okay, so I don't think I'm just gonna be able to strap these to my feet like I thought I was going to. The springs are going to come off sideways and I'm worried I'm gonna snap my ankles. So what I'm going to have to do is increase my XP level so I can acquire a tool which I haven't unlocked yet. The Medusa of the tool world, a welder. And I have wanted one of these my whole life and now I finally have a sensible excuse to own one. So I bought this bad boy secondhand from a stranger on the internet because only schmucks buy new things. And let's do this. So I thought welding was gonna be easy and fun, a bit like hot gluing. It, it isn't though, it's terrifying. You can't see anything and you get molten metal down your shirt 
and then I managed to melt straight through the metal and destroying it. And then I set my table on fire. And then also, if you aren't fast enough with striking the stick on the metal, it gets stuck to the metal and then it heats up and explodes. And I guess this is happening because my welder is a little too strong in the ampage department, but I can't do anything about it. You see, the best thing about buying secondhand old things from strangers is they don't work properly. And the power knob on this welder doesn't stop turning and apparently goes up to infinity. So I'm going to attempt to fix this by drawing an arrow right here and just hoping I can trick the welder. Here we go. What setting should I choose? Number one, number two. Uh, let's go with number eight for Turbo Weld 8. Also, thanks to my Patreons for this welder. Technically, each one of you owns one hundredth of this machine. So I did eventually manage to get good enough to create this monstrosity. So it's time to attempt welding my real spring and sheet of metal. And luckily, I realized just before welding that the sheet of metal is galvanized steel. So to avoid inhaling toxic fumes, I came up with a smart idea of replicating underwater welding on land by using a snorkel tube so I can get fresh air from a non-toxic room in the house. And look at that, it's ugly, but the spring is definitely welded on. And I love it that my best weld looks worse than the worst weld examples I could find on Google. So now to attach my old trusty Adidas and let's go try them out. Now I'm pretty sure if I go straight for it, I'm just gonna snap my ankles. So I'm gonna set up this rope in the tree and don't worry neighbors, it's not what you think. So I'm gonna be wearing this harness so I can stay attached to the rope and then a little person will support my weight. Also, I'm keeping my apron on so you can't see my peepee -pee in this harness. And let's try it. Tight, tight, tight. Okay, keep me tight. Okay. Oh, this is so up. Okay, keep me tight. Pull tighter. Oh my. You're like a little baby trying to walk. Yeah, and I could feel that the shoes were bouncing me a little, but I had to stop because the springs are so heavy. I didn't have any control in the way my feet came down and impacted the ground. And I was worried I was just gonna snap my ankles. So spring shoes look kind of cool, but a crap, and I'm giving them six out of 10. All right, so time for my last request, which also happens to be foot related and comes from somebody called William e Eggs, Eggs Man. And I don't know who they are, but they want me to make roller skates with pizza cutter wheels. And I respect a man that likes eggs, so I'm going to attempt to make them. Now, lucky for me, I remembered I had a pair of roller skates somewhere in my attic from when I was a kid, as my mum convinced me that rollerblading was actually just as cool as skateboarding. Rollerblades, please. It, it wasn't. So my original idea was to buy some real pizza cutters from the store, but I would have had to buy all of them. And then I would have felt bad for anyone else that turned up after me and was unable to cut a pizza. So instead I unevenly cut some wheel blades out of this poisonous sheet metal and just swapped it with the wheels. And I created this. Andiamo on mangiare un po' di pizza. Uh, I was imagining smooth motion, okay. It's not gonna happen. And the wheels are extremely wobbly, but it works really well. And again. And look at that. Cut it in eight. It's beautiful. Even with my damaged ankles, I've still managed to cut the pizza better than every employee at Domino's. Hi there, I'm ringing up um, because I think Domino's is a really great pizza franchise and I really enjoy eating your pizza. Um, but sometimes when I eat it, the pizza isn't cut properly. Uh -huh. um, so I make inventions and recently I created a pair of roller blades that have pizza cutters for wheels and they work really, really well. Um, so I was wondering if this was something you guys might be interested in using in your store. I don't think we can change the color because all the uh, 
materials that from our head office, we can't like get anything outside the head office. Okay. What do, what do you think of the idea though? If you could personally use them? Um, probably if I own a pizza store. If you owned a pizza store, you would use them? Yeah, probably use it. Okay. Uh, the cut is really not, not good for, for our store at the moment, but we can't change it at all actually. Okay. Okay, well that's good to hear that you would use them. Okay, have a good so now for the rating. The pizza shoes cut well, but the pizza was burnt and tasted like the ground. So I'm gonna give the shoes three out of 10. Meaning the crayfish idea is the winner. Congratulations, James Co Productions. You're a genius. I think I'm gonna do a lot more crustacean related videos in the future. And to everyone else that submitted ideas, some of them were actually so good that I'm gonna be stealing them and turning them into full videos in the future. I have so many leeches in my crocs. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and check out some of my other stuff if you enjoy wasting your time.